Hey guys, welcome back to a uh, to your uh, what's the day today? It is the it's the twenty second. Uh, welcome to your twenty second of August, Friday, not well Saturday night update. Um, so um, welcome back everyone. So um, we're doing a well as I just said, we're doing a Friday and well Saturday night update. And um, basically, there's not much to go through today. I've said that for the last three updates, and they've all been about around about over ten minutes, dearest to fifteen minutes. But yeah, there there is a little bit to go through with the greenhouse not much apart from a few things that we've learnt then there's a few there's quite a bit up in the veg up in the veg area that's changed and that we've learnt and then just to show you around the few flowers that have been sorted that have come out again and but um but before we do go to the greenhouse if you haven't already make sure you do hit that like button and subscribe if you are new but let's jump straight into it so we're in the greenhouse now and you can see it's a little bit of a mess and we're pretty about halfway through with the harvest on our peppers we've pretty got about halfway to go before they can come out and um but the biggest mess is probably caused by the tomatoes and because we've just struggled to find support for them and um, we're gonna do them much differently next year and also a lot of space has been taken up by melons there's two pots and then basically sort of when the tomatoes finished to the end of the greenhouse is basically taken up by melons pretty much and um, so we've got two quite big melons there and uh, the, there's lots of little ones but we're not too sure whether there's enough time left in the growing season for them to grow um but yeah so we do need to probably have as much of a tidy up as we can i doubt we're going to get much of a tidy uh, uh, result um until we take some bits out and uh, what until we finish harvesting we take them out or like the peppers once the peppers come out there a lot more room will be because you can see basically all of this side is peppers there's nothing else here and if you remember quite a long time ago we had a pasting table up here with all of our trays there's no trays in here now well no no trays in here now they're all out um but yeah but yeah so that's about it for the greenhouse let's just show you around a few flowers so we've got a few blackberries that are starting to ripen and um, so there's, there's quite a good uh, quite a good bunch here and as well we think we also have one ripe raspberry which my dad is just going to show you a quick picture of now. So um, the, we haven't had a lot of um, fruit this year but hopefully next year we'll get a lot more our uh, blackberries have seemed to have done quite well we've had five red currants and now one raspberry we've picked it off and uh secretly just before my mum can get to it i'm gonna eat it so uh sorry mum sweet definitely sweet so it's a bit, it's a little bit tart and sharp as well. Uh, it was an, mm, yeah, more sharp than anything. So the plant behind that seat there has been flowering for ages. It is of what two months probably, uh, maybe even more. And our passion flower is still growing, and we do have a few flowers, and um, we've got a lot more buds than we have flowers yet, as you can see. But um, there we are, it's starting to flower again. Um, so yeah, and that plant has been flowering for about two months. We need to cut the hydrangeas back also, um, because they're getting quite big now, and uh, they finished flowering. We actually need to need to deadhead that one over there, um, at some point as well. Um, but yeah, so yeah, the passion flower is continuing to grow. It's actually outgrowing that trellis already. <laughs> you can see. A bit of it's come off the trellis already so we'll have to get another trellis up there um and as well we've got some trays of things we are not too sure what they are we know uh, like ones like kohlrabi i think we've got some lettuce and maybe beetroot maybe um but i'm not too sure i know we've got beetroot down in that tray down there or it's up there i can't remember now um but we're going to be planting all of these out today probably oh, well, on cam not on, we're not going to be planting them in on camera but we'll just show you after the, uh, but well when we're doing it and after um but we're not going to do it in this video this is a sanitary friday night update or saturday night update video um but that's going to be things that we'll recall today um so let's go now let's go up well i should really say that we need to thread the with this grape up 
And uh, actually, I'm just going to do it on camera now. We don't really normally do this on camera now. But it does need doing, so let me put that in there. So we think we need to get a clip or like a bit of string because it isn't really staying there for the moment. Um, I actually think as well on this side it's getting bigger as well. So you can actually see it's getting quite big now. And so I'm just going to put that like so. So yeah, they're, they're getting quite big now. I gave them a water whilst I wanted the garden this morning. But let's go up to the veg patch. So um, our, my alpines seem to be doing quite well. They seem to have grown a little bit. And I gave them a quick little water because we haven't done it in a couple of weeks. It's been a couple of weeks since they've been in now. And I just gave them a quick little water, just a quick second or two. Uh, they don't want too much water. Uh, bear in mind that if you are growing alpines, but let's now go up to the veg patch. So um, you may see our hybrid carrots have um, have are starting to pop through now, and it's been about two weeks or so, maybe three weeks since we planted them in. As well, our courgettes have come back very nicely, and you might be noticing for those of you that have really good eyes and have been watching the channel over the last week or two. Um, you may have noticed we've picked out some of the cool jets in a harvest video that is going to be coming out after this, probably on the Sunday or Monday, I'm not really too sure. Um, Brussels are coming along well, um, they, so they're coming along quite well. Marigolds are flowering beautifully, and um, our squash is getting quite big, we pretty staked out one at some point, um, because it's getting quite big. Um, no ripe tomatoes yet on the outdoor um on the outdoor uh, seven tomatoes um but that's okay they might not come until later on and it's getting a little bit windy now so i'm going to talk up a little bit um so yeah but let's go over to the uh let's go over to this bed where i want to talk about a few bits so i'm having to talk really now now because uh it's really windy and you can hear um, my voice is also cracking so if my voice goes really high pitch at any point I'm very sorry about that and I think it might have just done just then but yeah this is definitely going to be the last of our um our, of our cucumbers that we're going to be able to harvest so um so that's quite exciting we will probably get about 20 to 25 cucumbers and once oh counting all the ones that we've eaten and stuff uh, it's probably going to be 20 to 25 cucumbers maybe even 30 and as well over here you may be noticing that we've picked a squash and um, the, for some reason on this side of the of the garden uh, our marigolds have seemed to be doing really well and um, they're brutal they're flowering very very nicely so our squashes have grown as big as they're gonna get um, uh, a good example would be this one here, where you can see all the end is dying off. And um, but we're keeping it on the plant for the moment to um, just to keep it preserved. And it's a good way to preserve it if you guys are wanting to preserve your squashes and if you are growing your squashes. Also, we've got a beautiful arch. Uh, we raised quite a bit ago now, and um, but um, that's really helped. Um, but so let's now go to the where we've got our one big tomato that's actually came let's go to that bed and talk about a few bits in that bed so our tomatoes are much bigger outdoors than they are in the greenhouse and this is really because they've got more soil so the roots have more space to grow um but also um but they haven't you can see there's no red tomatoes yet and this is probably because um, there is like it, there, there's no, the soil there's not much like that so we use like tomato feed um, soil and that's got like a lot of nutrients in it and this soil hasn't got much nutrients in it although it does have the chicken and all the chicken poop the plants are pretty all use the chicken poop by now because uh, we made this bed quite a while ago um, my hair is growing everywhere although I don't really keep it tidy it's growing everywhere so I need to get a head of it um, you can see how broccoli is uh, actually doing quite well We've got a few little sprouting heads which we can get rather soon. Um, but it's quite it's getting quite loud to get so um yeah it's getting very loud. And my hair is going So um there's a few heads of cauliflower that have started to grow. 
and uh, they, so they'll take a little bit more to grow yet and also um, our leeks are doing quite well um, no we've not harvested leeks yet there's one thing that we haven't harvested yet but we have harvested some spring onions and uh, we've probably got a few in the fridge still um, but yeah and also you can see we've got some spinach down here we planted this uh, last week at some uh, Oh like, no, I think it might have been no. This week, uh, it might have been the beginning of this week. Um, uh, but you can see our runner beans are starting to die back. We harvested the last of them today. Um, in the harvest video where we harvested the courgettes that we mentioned just a little bit ago in this video, we're going to be taking them out at some point because that is the last harvest of runner beans that we're going to get. And I've just seen one more as well, so I'm going to pick that off camera in a second once this video has been wrapped up. Um, but yes, we're going to be taking them out at one point. That will mean that the rhubarb has more space to grow. Um, a, a little bit more space to grow anyway. Okay, so it's raining and uh, so we're going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy it, make sure you do like, share and subscribe. And as always, don't forget to slam that notification bell so you're notified when I upload my brand new videos. Um, there's two videos popping up now. One is the... Uh, one is the um, the last Friday night update that we did and the other one is um, so the other one is the other harvest video that we did uh, the last harvest video that we did so there was two videos to, for you to pick from then but thank you so much for watching and I will catch you all in the next one guys bye